My name is JT Marksinkowski, goalkeeper for the San Jose Earthquakes. If you don't know goalkeeping, you kind of just think it's lonely. You kind of think you're by yourself all the time. Um, whereas for us and for me especially, it's trying to do everything I can to stay connected with the team. Confidence is key for a goalkeeper because uh, it's 90% mental. There's really only so much we can train. Uh, you can't really reinvent the wheel when it comes to goalkeeping, um, but you can reinvent the wheel when it comes to your mental side of the game. The mental strength that you need uh, in order to pick yourself back up when you let in a goal or the other side of it. When you make a big save, it's okay, how do we calm ourselves back down to stay in the moment to stay uh, locked in. The strong defense is the foundation of the team. I think it's the heartbeat. When you can rely on your back line, when you can rely on your goalkeeper, it gives uh, the attackers a lot more confidence to go forward and um, express themselves. That confidence uh, stems from, from the back line, from the goalkeeper, allowing them to have that freedom up top, knowing that will have their backs. I think success rate when it comes to goalkeeping is an interesting question because uh, we're often just viewed off the goals that we let in or the saves that we make, uh, but there's so much more that goes into it. Um, I think success rate to me means mentally and physically that I am prepared for every match, that I give myself uh, the ability to compete in everything that I do. So that starts with training, that starts with uh, being in the gym early, kind of just making sure that I'm always ready for to make that crucial save because it might it might happen the first minute it might happen in the 90th minute but uh, trying to stay mentally locked in to, to make that save